What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. As you guys know, the NBA playoffs start on Saturday after the playing game is done on this Friday. And a lot of you guys have been asking me what I think is gonna happen in these playoffs. And so far, we're four for four in the playing. If you guys follow my TikTok, I gave a what I think would happen in the NBA playing. And we're four for four right now. So right now it's time for me to go in and try to create a perfect bracket. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. So let's get into it. All right, so first off, we have the matchup between the Thunder and either the Pelicans or the Kings. I think it's gonna be the Kings because Zion is hurt. I think that both the Sun or both the Nuggets and the Mavericks are better than the Thunder. However, it depends. Uh, if, it's, if the Pelicans somehow win, I'll take the Thunder. I'm gonna take the Thunder to win in six against the Kings. That's what I think will happen. Uh, Mavericks, I have them winning in six games as well over the Clippers. Depending on Kawhi, I just saw something out today that Kawhi's knee is getting a shot. So that's that's just the Clipper curse. You can't, no one ever stays healthy in the playoffs. If they were healthy, they would have a chance, but I just can't bet against the Mavericks. Going over to the Timberwolves and the Suns, they played in the last game of the season and the Timberwolves got smacked. However, Carl Anthony Towns is coming back. Nas Reed got some well needed minutes. The Suns have KD, but the Timberwolves have Jaden Daniels. McDaniels. The Suns are actually favored to win this. Are the Timberwolves ready? The Suns have experience. They were in the finals not too long ago. This is still new territory for the Timberwolves. However, I got the T-Wolves in seven. I just can't see their defense letting up anything crazy. I just don't think the Suns can hold a lead, and I just don't think the Timberwolves are going to let it happen. Next series, we got the Nuggets against the Lakers. Nuggets in five. I, I understand a lot of people are going to be rocking with the Lakers because of LeBron, but Jokic is so good. Like The Nuggets are the best team in the NBA, in my opinion. I'm not even a Nuggets fan. That's what I believe is that the Nuggets are the best team. I think they're getting out the Lakers in seven. I could see I could see every single one of these series going either way. Davis can't guard Jokic. I just don't see it going anywhere. That's what I think will happen in the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. Now let's move over to the Eastern Conference, where we have probably the Bulls against the Celtics. I got Celtics in five. I mean, the Celtics are by far the best team in the East. The Bulls uh, are balling, but the Celtics just have too many good players. Their bench, even when all the starters were resting for the rest of the regular season, Peyton Pritchard dropped a 38-point triple-double almost, one rebound away. I just don't see him doing that. Next, we have the Cavs and the Magic. This one, actually, the Cavaliers are heavily favored to win this. Donovan Mitchell's been a little suspect since returning from injury. Jonathan Isaac's a very good defender. Jarrett Allen and Evan Mobley are a very good duo down low. However... I just feel like the Magic are going to win in seven. I just feel like the Magic have had a really special season. And people are going to call me crazy. I think Paolo Bancaro is going to be the best player on the floor in that series. Donovan Mitchell has been playing very suspect lately. I don't believe in him at all. I hope he proves me wrong because I would actually like to see the Cavaliers win. But I think the Magic win in seven. I mean, they're a young team. Their defense has been outstanding. Jalen Suggs should be an all-NBA second team defense, in my opinion. Jonathan Isaac also. They have good defense. I think they win in seven. The infamous game ball saga. You have the Bucks against the Pacers. All depends on if Giannis is going to play. They say he will, but we know how it is when star players or any players in general have a messed up calf going into the playoffs. That always makes the Achilles very suspect. The Pacers have started to really cook now recently. Tyrese Halliburton had a little bit of post all-star break. He wasn't doing that well, but now he's starting to pick it up. They now have Siakam. Siakam can score. Miles Turner, Matherin, Nay Smith. And then you have the Bucks with Pat Bev. Bobby Portis has been balling. You have Thanasis cheering everyone on. I'm gonna go with the Bucks in seven. Ah, not seven. I'm gonna go with the Bucks in six. The Knicks against the 76ers. This is probably the closest, I think, in all of the first round matchups. The Knicks are balling. Jalen Brunson is probably gonna be first team all NBA. Joel Embiid would have been the MVP if he didn't get hurt. He's healthy now. Nicholas Batum. Just went absolutely crazy on the heat last night. So looking at it, I think the Sixers win six. Tyrese Maxey is going to be able to play well. Josh Hart will probably get the assignment on Maxey. And I think that he'll be able to shut him down. But I just don't think anyone will be able to shut down Embiid. If Embiid stays healthy, I see the Sixers winning it. That's what I see for the Eastern Conference. And that's what I see for all the first round. So let's move on to the second round of the NBA playoffs. You have the Thunder against the Mavericks. I think the Mavericks win in six. I've said it before. I'll say it again. The Mavericks are heavily under because of the trade that they had after the deadline to add Washington and Gafford. Now they're, now they're, a top, I think they're a top five team in the NBA. 
I think Luka is the best player in the NBA. Luka has shown time and time again that he is not a playoff shrinker. He rises to the occasion. The Mavericks are just too good. I don't know if Chet Holmgren will be able to hold up with the physicality of Gafford. I'm going to take the Mavericks in six. Next up, we have the Nuggets going against the Timberwolves. They played each other and it was, uh, it was bad. It was very bad. The Nuggets absolutely obliterated the Timberwolves and I think that's exactly what's going to happen again. I think the Nuggets go in six. I think they win in six. Timberwolves are good. I just don't think they'll be able to stop the Nuggets. You, when you guard Jokic, you have to guard him from the perimeter out. Jamal Murray's finally healthy. Michael Porter Jr. is there. KCP, Aaron Gordon, Christian Brown, Peyton Watson, all those guys off the bench. And the Timberwolves, I just don't, I just don't trust them. All right, because the Nuggets, they've obviously just went to the finals and won. The Timberwolves kind of slid a little bit to end the year. Obviously, Anthony Edwards is a baller, but he's not very efficient. And to beat the Nuggets, you have to be efficient. I'm not sure the Timberwolves can be efficient enough offensively to win. That's why I'm going to take the Nuggets, setting up for a Mavericks and Nuggets Western Conference Finals as we go down to the Eastern Conference. In the Eastern Conference, you have the Celtics against the Magic. They actually had a couple good games earlier in the season. I remember early November, because I'm a Celtics fan, the Magic beat them. Or I just don't see anyone being the Celtics. I'm going to take the Celtics in five. I think that the Celtics are just too good of a team, especially they get the privilege of playing out East. They don't have to play in the Western Conference, which is by far and away way harder than the Eastern Conference. I'm gonna take the Celtics. I just think the Celtics are too much to handle, especially with all of everybody that they have. I mean, if you have one guy out not doing good, then Porzingis will play. If Porzingis isn't playing well, then Tatum will have 40. If Tatum doesn't wanna have 40, Jalen Brown will have 30. It's just a tough team to guard, especially because they are so experienced in the playoffs. They've been to the Eastern Conference Finals, I think, for the last three years now. I got the Celtics. Now going down to the Bucks and the 76ers, you have Doc Rivers against the Sixers. Nick Nurse was getting looked at by the Bucks, but they said Giannis didn't want him. This spells an absolute masterclass of a series, but I am taking the 76ers to exercise second round demons and finally make it to a conference finals one big part of that is I believe Nick Nurse is a way better coach than Doc Rivers. That's why I have it going to seven. I think it's going to be a close series, but I just think that this is going to be Tyrese Maxey's breakout series paired with Embiid just being an absolute dog. I got the Sixers in seven as we go on to the conference finals. Looking at the conference finals, you have the Mavericks against the Nuggets. Absolute cinema. We remember the last time that these guys played, Kyrie Irving hit a lefty hook shot from the free throw line to win. A lot of people have the Nuggets coming out of the West. I think they're the best team in the West. However, give me the Mavericks in seven games. That is gonna be my bold take. I have the Mavericks going all the way from a five seed. I have them going to the NBA Finals. They have championship DNA, not Kyrie Irving's there. Luka Doncic is Luka. Daniel Gafford and PJ Washington are massive additions. The Nuggets are balling. I just don't see anyone stopping the Mavericks right now. They are red hot. Luka averaged 35, 10, and 10. A 35-point triple-double since the All-Star break. And he's a playoff riser. Kyrie Irving is a playoff riser. A lot of these guys haven't been in the playoffs before on the Mavericks, but I don't hate the matchup of Gafford on Jokic. I really don't. I think that he's a great matchup on Jokic. He's one of the best defensive big men in the league. He's top four in stocks. Not that stats are everything, but that's what I think is going to happen. Give me the Mavericks in seven over the Nuggets. That's my bold take as we go down into the the Eastern Conference Finals, where once again, you have the Celtics against the 76ers. I'm gonna take the Celtics to win in six over the 76ers. That's what I think is gonna happen. I just think, I mean, once again, they're so experienced and every single time these guys match up in the playoffs, it is never go going to go well, especially Embiid. He's been showing a little bit of weakness on that knee and I never wanna act like I hope someone gets injured. I don't hope that's the case, but I think that looking down here, you play, this would be his 19th game. His knee's gonna be a little sore. The Celtics are well rested, they're healthy, as opposed to Embiid had to play an extra game. He's kind of hobbling around a little bit. He's gonna be playing against a very physical New York team, and then he's gonna be playing against a physical Milwaukee team, whereas the Celtics, I have him playing 10 games, opposed to their 13. I think the Celtics take it, which would then set up for a Mavericks and Celtics NBA Finals, which would be absolute cinema to watch. I think that the NBA Finals is going to become the Celtics winning a six-game series against the Mavericks. I think that the Celtics beat the Mavericks 
in a six game series because they're just the better team. Obviously, Luka and Kyrie. However, the Celtics backcourt is one of the best defensive backcourts in basketball. You have Derek White, who's probably all NBA, Drew Holiday, just off of all NBA, Porzingis in the middle, Tatum is one of the best two ways that, the, that is out there, and the Mavericks don't have the defense to stop the Celtics in my opinion. They don't have the bench depth neither, which they obviously would need if you're going up against a team that's as loaded as the Celtics is. I think that this is the Celtics time to finally exercise some of those demons that they've been having late in the year. This is the best road that the Celtics have ever had, especially if the Miami Heat come in, Jimmy Butler's injured, the Cavs aren't that good, the Magic aren't that good, and then whoever comes out of this is going to be banged up because this is way harder than up here. Obviously, they're the one seed. They're going to have an easier path. That is what I think is going to happen. I think the Celtics win the NBA playoffs. Celtics over the Mavericks, six games, NBA Finals. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please like and sub if you enjoyed the video. I know I haven't been putting out as many YouTube videos lately. That's because I am almost done with my degree. I've been absolutely smashing homework, studying, because I need to get my diploma. Not even diploma, degree. Dude, I'm getting old. Soon I will be able to post almost every single day for you guys. I'm waiting for that to happen. Thank you guys for watching. As always, have a great day or night whenever you watch this. And the most important thing I can stress to you is come here. God bless. Jesus loves you. Peace.